So we're back at this place where we need to take TikTok down and everything's about China. That's where we are. We have not, we, and Americans will fall for it, won't they? They will. Doing the same thing I've heard my whole life. Iran's the problem, Iraq's the problem, Russia's the problem, now China. And there is, no, there is not one alternative or mainstream media, not one, not, not one that is honest and that will truly do honest journalism. None of them, none of them. Even the ones that they put in jail, no, none of them are. None of them are. Because it is all controlled. That's how deep the deception goes. If anybody saw Amazing Polly on Rumble, her recent video, um, she went into how all of the alternative media is tied to the wellness group, this company, the wellness group, and they're about the non-propaganda medicine. Um, the problem is, is they're still doing the bidding for the swamp. Now, um, let me show you the picture that she showed up at the beginning. So these are all, you've, everybody's seen these, many of these faces. And the Trumps, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count them as part of the problem. I just wouldn't. Or truth social. I, I think ultimately the game, the game that's being played here by all these people, and I, I again, exclude the Trumps because I think the whole point of this is because you have to see all the layers. So see all the layers that once the mainstream media no longer has credibility, there's going to be all these people that come out and they're going to tell you a lot of truth. They will absolutely tell you a lot of truth, again, to pull you in. And then when they get a hold of you and have your trust, then they will direct you. And what will they do? They'll do the same thing that the mainstream media does. China's the problem. China's the problem. So, um... The people I would exclude from this uh, is the Trumps. Um, I think they know the game being played, but unfortunately the American people need to see the truth of it. So Amazing Polly, if you go watch her video, I guess there was some open platform where you could ask questions to the CEO of this wellness group, or not the wellness group, to somebody that's, you have to go watch her video, but she shows some video of some questions that were asked to this man uh, and, and he got really defensive because basically it's not just her, but others that were like, you're getting this funding from the wellness group and it, it, and they all do the same thing. You know, your Jordan Peter, all, what are they all talking about right now? Most of them, China, Brett Weinstein, who recently went to the Darien Gap and is, is running around all of his, all these same networks talking about how. Um, Chinese aged or young Chinese uh, men are coming across the border and he saw them in the Darien Gap and they're like military aged men and they're coming in and it's all meant to distract you. That's what it is. Because again, it's focusing, if we had, we, we have, I don't think we've ever had honest journalism. That's where I'm, I'm almost to. Because maybe the journalists themselves are played. Um, who knows? But we are not being honest. We have a, a, a bunch of Republicans, and I trust none of them. I don't. I've tried many times to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm done giving them the benefit of the doubt. They've had enough time. They're, they're, they're just part of the swamp, all of them. Okay? They're still at this place where they want to take down TikTok. Look, there's only one reason they want to take TikTok down. It's not because of children. It's not because of China. It's because millions of Americans like me are on here. And here's what is shocking. It should just be an obvious one. It's something obvious that nobody talks about. But every one of us, just like me, that are patriots on here will tell you. And that's, you, you get a following on, on TikTok. Um, there's millions of Americans on here. There's no American social media company where you can get a following. You're shadow banned on everything, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Rumble, um, on uh, Instagram, on all of them. But they continually, the Congress or uh, the House wants to focus on 
TikTok being the problem. No, there's not a danger to TikTok. People, if, if you're falling for that trap, then you're falling for exactly what they want you to fall for. No, there's a reason that millions of Americans stay on TikTok, and it's because you get a following and you have your people you follow. And you, so uh, the reason they want to get rid of it is because it's the only platform where American people get a voice and it's one that's heard by many, many other Americans. That's the reason. So no longer can anybody that's a politician there in Washington be trusted. They just can't. Because all they want to do is do the same thing they've always done, is deflect that China's the problem, okay? And that's what all of these new alternative medias are all about, which is why all of their funding is tied to the same thing. Um, so... And, and it is what they're doing. The Blaze just had Peter, what, Schweitzer on, who wrote, I'm not saying what he says isn't true about the Bidens and having deals with a corrupt uh, Chinese Communist Party, but, that, but truly, where is the talk about how the politicians have been getting kickbacks uh, from American Nurses Association or giving kickbacks, vice versa, all this. Why is anybody calling Bernie out for what they've done to the, our health care system with American Medical and Nursing Association? Because they're protecting all of those organizations. And they don't want to talk about those because in order, or they don't even want to talk about the UN and the NGOs, do they? No, it's just TikTok, Biden, or um, uh, China. I'm sick of it. It's bullshit. No, it's the people in this country that are a danger to Americans. It is not China, but that's how much these people, Breitbart, Gateway Pundit, all of them, they, they're considered your alternative, right? The Blaze, Glenn Beck, they tell you some truth, but they'll be damned that they go all the way to the truth because again, they deflect. They always will veer off and deflect that China is the problem. Bullshit. Bullshit. And that should tell you how much you can't trust one Republican in Washington. Not one of them. Because they too continue their bullshit about China. When really they should be talking about the disaster health care we have. And be calling out their, their, their um, comrades on the other side who have been in with American Nurses Association and American Nurses Association ties back to the UN through Global Nurses United, which ties us to that globalist plan. Why hasn't any Republican come out and talk about that? Because that's had a major impact in our health care system. No, you won't hear any of them talk about it. You know why? Because every single one of them are corrupt. Nobody gets there without being corrupt. Just be clear. I don't care what Trump says about any of them either. They, they have had plenty of time to talk about all these things that many of us Americans have looked into and have found all of these ties to, and they don't talk about it. Instead, they use their new alternative media. This is why Jordan Peterson is in this group, and they push the, 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 China, mod, the China problem. Did, did China infiltrate? Probably, but that is not where the focus should be. I think most Americans want it focused on all of the criminals in this country. As Trump said, said the enemy is within, but we don't have any media that, except if they're talking about Joe Biden, we have no media that wants to focus on all the criminals that have been tied to the Communist Party and how all, all of them that are tied to the healthcare globalist agenda. No, that I, never once have I heard any of them talk about it. So I trust not one Republican in Washington and the Democrats, well, they're a lost cause, but so are the, the Republicans. This is who they want you to believe is the people you can trust. And they will say a ton of truthful things to pull you in. But what they all will do, just like the mainstream media does, is they will then deflect to China so that you will just forget about all the corruption that is going on in our government that is going on by the Republicans and the Democrats. God willing, Americans don't fall for it again, but we've been prone to over and over again believing their bullshit. Please stop believing any of the Republicans.